Yes, it's the team of it all. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me and it's time to watch Soul Level episode 11. In the previous episode, Sung Jin Ho totally scammed the representative of the White Tigers Guild. He made a sweet deal for the dungeons. He didn't even want it to go and Jin Ho nearly lost the money. And Sung Jin Ho was so smart, he actually tripled it, if not more, right? Amazing. And he received a job change quest. Now, what does it mean? Because you're gonna acquire some amazing powers. What will be the next challenge? I can't wait to watch it too. As always, thanks for dropping by. If you like my reactions, bump the like button, subscribe for more, or check out my link for the Patreon down below. Thanks. Soul Evelyn, let's do it. Where is he off to? Where is he off to? Okay. Is he going to activate what I think? Yes, the jump change quest is going for it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. After level 40, so after level 80, there'll be another one. I mean, in games, usually you get like a jump change quest after like level 20, 25. So you have to wait a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's like a supernova. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love the purple color. It's beautiful. Daily quests. Will you have enough time to do your daily quests, though? <laughs> it better be interesting. I mean, it's an episode 11. Anything can happen now, right? No way. This is his brother who's trying to establish his own guild. And my feeling is that they don't get on with each other. I mean, look at his face. This didn't seem nice at all. Potions are forbidden. And he cannot recover. So this is like a life and death situation. It should be a job change. But what if he dies? Oh my god, that is actually like... Worrying. I'm glad he can use inventory, but he can't use any sort of. Okay, so the first opponent is Knight. So they're testing his skills if this is a job change mission. And he didn't do any damage to the Knight. Now that's worrying. Oh, wait, is Jinwa actually struggling? He can't pierce him! Oh no. But he was able to win these enemies, and this one he can't pierce his armor? Well, at least he can just totally rip him apart. Hmm, interesting. He can't recover mana, he can't heal damage. What about fatigue? If he can't recover fatigue, he's in deep trouble, because we don't know how many enemies there will be. I mean, would you eat in front of father and this snake of a man? <laughs> yeah, Chahane can do so much better than this guy. No way he's gonna recruit someone from the Europe! I guess if their money is unlimited, then loyalty doesn't matter. What do you want from him? Okay. But you don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I told you he's not a nice guy. You can tell just looking at his face and the way Jin Ho reacts to when he sees him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jin Ho might not be an S rank yet, but give him a moment. Just give him a moment. He's leveling up so fast. An assassin. First we had knights, now we have assassins. A mage? So, what is, what is happening actually? They are testing his affinity. They are testing his skills to see what sort of powers would be best suitable for him, right? What sort of job class would fit him the most? The assassin? The mage? The melee warrior? Tank and whatever else they have there hidden for him. I wonder what it's gonna be. Mm. Yeah. 
Now he's regretting that he hasn't in invested all of those points in, like, a lot of these points in intelligence. But he's somehow managing it, so... She Fatigue 65, guys, is building up really fast. And we don't even know how much longer he has to fight for. Oh, look at this guy. He's wearing his flashy golden armor. Chahane and the rest of the guild. Oh, wow. So they are all going to the Jeju Island. That's fast. Okay, so he managed to pick up something from those monsters. Some sort of whatever that was. Money. Biran gear. That's good. Can he equip it? And it's see-through? Wow. That, that makes it even more badass. He can equip whatever he wants without standing out. So no one would know how powerful he is. He can look like just an average person on the street. I'm super powerful. I'm so excited. <laughs> And he recovered his fatigue from the items. Now, if that isn't a luck, I don't know what is. <laughs> Very convenient luck. Okay, so that's got to be the boss jumper. Because it looks really <laughs> tough. Is that a ruby? Wow. Dig it out from the door. Go for it, Jinho. Go for it, Jinho! That's a strong blow and possibly quite powerful enemy. As long as his title is not in red, then Jinwa can finish him, right? Although he's known for fin fighting monsters over red, like the Cerberus. But this is a life and death situation. He doesn't have any teleportation stone or anything like that, right? Oh no, that's bad news. That means that this opponent is really, really powerful. Wow. Beautiful Scarlet Warrior. Increase the blood red. Mm. Wow. He looks scary. Now, the question is how strong is he? His name is in red, so it must be on like, I don't know, S rank level? Which is bad. It's bad news. He can barely keep up to avoid? Dang. Have a handgun there. Really powerful. I'm gonna put my other headphone in just to heal. It's just to hear it all because it sounds really good, this music. And he can't pierce the armor. He couldn't pierce the other knight's armor, so how could he pierce this one? <laughs> Is he gonna rip his armor as well to win? But oh, look at that! <gasps> Amazing! Get up, get up, quickly get up! Yeah, rip him, rip him off! But can he if his strength is not on S level, right? I guess he's going for that! Go for it! You can do it! Icris. Wow. Is that the president of the Hunter Association? Is he going to tell him about Jinwa? Maybe it's about the Jeju Island. It is. So is it like the operation of a joint effort? Oh. Right. So it's like a reconnaissance. Interesting. This is just them going. It's proper haunting him in nightmares. Right, back to Jinwa. How is he gonna deal with Igris? Igris is like even faster. This is a lightning speed. What is going on? Is it because the sword was slowing him down? I don't even know what to say. Can't even block it without taking damage. That is really bad news. It really is. Okay, that's a good idea. Dash level two, right? 
music. Epic. Thank God for that. Don't tell me this is a fatal strike. I have chills. Come on, Jinwa. He got him in the neck! Oh my god, the guy is in rage mode. He's really angry and possibly more powerful than before. He's just throwing him around like a rag doll. Now this reminds me of a scene from Matrix. Agent Smith fighting Neo, right? In Mat Matrix reactivation. Engine was on the throne! Now isn't that ironic? But why was the knight defending the empty throne? I might have some ideas. Is that throne for Jinwa? But Jinwa is like almost dead, like barely alive. He's like proper wheezing. How is he gonna... Your sweet little sister, where your sweet little big brother is dying, I guess? Yeah, I think so. The nurse? Oh, his mom. Well, I'm glad that the crystal is keeping her alive. But how long will the crystal keep her alive if Jinwa dies? I mean, he won't die. It wouldn't be an anime if he died. But how is he gonna get out of this difficult situation? Is he just pretending that he's powerless and he's just gonna attack? <gasps> so glad he put the armor on. Yes, it's the team we know. <laughs> go for it, go for it. He did. He did it. Oh my god, guys. The tables have turned. Oh my god, Jim is in the proper rage mode. It's now or never. All of the strikes, all of the power, all of the skills in one final strike. <laughs> he managed it. Did he kill it? Wow. Guys, that was proper now or never. And he won. <sighs> My god, his fatigue must be really high. What well, is it gonna be the price for it? I'm really excited. Yeah, well, you got to be sneaky sometimes, right? <gasps> Rewards! Many physical damage minus 20, vitality and strength plus 20 each. That's amazing. That's the S rank. <gasps> Beautiful. Wow. It's his first S rank item. And the rest of them is quite amazing, too. Ruler's hand. Another skill. A ruler's hand, that sounds so badass. And the teleportation stone, that's cool. Hmm. So you can escape? But if you escape, then are you able to change your job? Or do you have to go for this again? Can you? That's a problem. This is not the end? Survive as long as possible? This is almost like... His penalty for not doing the daily quest, but this is not the penalty. This is the so the job change quest. We've got the knights. There's so many of them, though. And what about his fatigue? What is the level of his fatigue like? He didn't get any item from Igris that would sort that problem out, right? Okay, so these guys are out. He looks really tired, if I'm being honest. Okay, so if he can hide himself, he can buy himself a bit of time to you know, recover a bit of fatigue or... Because it says survive the longest you can. <gasps> the eye that can see. 
through his stealth. Well, that's really bad news, guys. And murderous intent spent as well. That's really bad. He can't recover HP. Only five minutes? Are you kidding me? No. Not again, Jinwo. Do you not learn from your mistakes? I swear to God, it happened before. That's really unfortunate. I'm glad it was a hammer, though. It could have. It almost like. It could have. Like, imagine if that was a sword. It would probably cut his hand. No, don't tell me this is the end. I have to wait a whole week for a new episode. I'm literally gonna cry. Guys, that was amazing. But Jinwo is really in the bind. Like, how is he gonna deal with it? His HP is getting lower. His fatigue is raising. He's used quite a lot of important skills. Does he have any more skills left? Like, when he attacked Igris, he spent most of his skills then. Now he used the murderous intent as well and the stealth that he didn't use before. So it kind of leaves him with nothing else, right? But he does have the s rank helmet, thank god, giving him the extra vitality and strength. But that alone it will, won't be enough to deal with that many of the enemies of different type. And the mages, by the look of it, are the worst because he really struggles to defend against them. He just can avoid them. But like, the more he avoids, the more his fatigue is raising. But still, the longer, I, I bet you anything, the longest he survives, the better he will get and the better power and more powerful he become because the job change quest surely is going to reward him the longer he survives all of these mass attacks. It really reminds me of games. And the next episode title is Arise. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's so fantastic. So he's getting the powers in the next episode. He somehow will manage through all this horde of knights and mages, assassins and whatnot. <sighs> Like there were, this episode gave me some proper chills, but I'm feeling really hot, really excited. Can't wait to watch another one. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for my future reactions. And if you'd like to see my reactions uncut in full opacity and length, early released, the link to my Patreon is down below. Alternatively, you can become a member of my channel and get some amazing perks. Again, listen to the link down below, so make sure to check that out. A big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac, being a Shogun member of my Patreon and always supporting and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much to the members of my YouTube channel as well and anyone else who contributes to this channel growth. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching the video with me. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!